Hello guys, welcome back to my channel Word of Coding. I am here at Sayyid Mansour Sencha with a new lecture. So first of all, Assalamu Alaikum and a good morning. It is at 10 p.m. but good morning. Okay. So first of all, today lecture is about a uh, while loop do and while loop. We are discussing over there a uh, while loop first of all. Okay. So let's start what is a while loop. Here again, like previously include I stream. Using sorry using m space stt int man entering the man body and uh, here for a while loop I want to say to how we can use a while loop so for that purpose I simply take one thing like uh, uh, I just uh, do what here I take while while zero less than five while zero less than five what do you have to do you have to do print c out you have to print pakistan zindabad or whatever you want okay i just simply says pakistan zindabad okay pakistan zindabad for uh, let me give a little bit space in between when the or other printing is due so it will take a little bit of space and for that purpose we here i should use uh i i less than five and here I just declare i as an integer value which start from zero. Okay, I'm declaring i as an integer value which start from zero. Okay, so over there I says i plus plus i will increment. Okay, and now return zero. Okay, let's run it. So see here one Pakistan, two, three, four, five. Five times Pakistan is the path. If I see how its printing is going on, so for that purpose, I just do over here one thing more i and Pakistan's in the bar. Now let's run it, let's check it out. So see, zero, it starts from zero, and then one, then two, then three, and then four. Okay, so how it works? Let, let's check it out. Let me erase this thing. Okay, so see this first over there, we have i, i equal to what i equal to zero. So zero less than five. Yep, condition is true. So it will go downside. It will go downside and print this and print uh, Pakistan Zindabad. Print Pakistan Zindabad. Okay. And then after this, it will go downside. So over here, the I plus plus means I um, I equal to uh, wait a second. I equal to I plus one. Okay. I equal to I plus one, which means that I plus plus means that. So for that, for the first time, I equal to zero. Okay. For the first time i equal to zero so zero plus one is equal to one okay so from one it will go upside and now one less than five yep condition is true so it will print over there this and that time i instead of zero it is one so one plus one is equal to two one plus one equal to two so now over here i uh, two less than five two less than five yep condition is true it will print again this and then two plus one is equal to three now three uh, now three will go upside and now three less than five yep condition is true it will print again this and then that time three plus one is equal to four three plus one is equal to four now four less than five yep condition again true so it will print this and that time four plus one equal to five so four plus one equal to five when it goes upward and it's five less than five now condition is wrong so it so the loop is over and it go over there return zero return zero means uh program is being terminated so this is the simple example from uh like uh, how the uh, while loop is working okay so let me print a table over here uh any type of table like uh the user uh, like two tables etc for that purpose what should i do i should do a simple thing like uh, i do a simple thing i do a simple thing like uh, see this uh i equal to zero i start i equal to i equal i start from zero and i want to increment i plus plus i want to increment i okay so i is not any static means uh, any value which uh, which will be sent so I will go from here. I will go. I want to. I goes from. Uh, it start from one and goes from ten. So I here it start from one and goes for ten. Okay. This then like two one the two 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 the four like one two three four. It will go from 
10 okay now it's done now one more thing i want to do one more thing is what i just want that uh, i i want to print let's suppose two table so i here i take one int a equal to 2 int a equal to 2 so here i just do one thing c out a strike i asterisk i a e n d r okay now let's run it let's check it out okay so see here what there two ones are two four six eight ten okay it totally gave us a table so i want that it will print like a uh, actual table like uh, on a notebook or a anything else we should write so i i like i like that uh, it just print our result like an actual actual table so for that purpose what should i do i should do over there that a multiply for multiply symbol i use a simply small x okay i use a simple small x then uh, again one more thing which is i i it will be changed continuously okay so th that's why i and then equal sign okay let's take equal okay now let's run it let's check it out okay it print i wait a second i just oh shit i take it in a uh, uh, in a press so that's why it print i okay now let's check it out Two ones are two, two twos are four, two threes are six, two fours are eight. So now it's like an actual table. So if you want that, the user decide the user decide what, what the table you want to print. So for that purpose, I simply what I do, I do that. I just take over here uh, a uh, one integer which is a, and then see out. Enter the table number you want to print. Okay, enter the number table you want to print and simply say in a over there. Okay, so now if I run it, now it will first ask enter the uh, the number to enter the table number you want to print. So I want to print a five tab a five table. So let's see this. It print a five table. Totally correct. Okay, so if you want that you to control you have to go control the location. You want to control the location of i as well. Like uh, here it will go from the ten. Here it will go from 10 so for that purpose i what should i do i should do that like i take one uh one more integer int so let me declare here t so for that purpose what should i do see out enter the number enter the number from from where you want to print the table okay so sign in t over there so i just gonna to sign in t over there and now let's run it now let's, let's check it out okay so first it want, uh, first it says enter the table number which you want to print okay i print over that time six table okay from where i printed from a 20 so see this it's uh, printed for a 20 okay one more thing i want that i just i also control this i i also control this i so for that purpose, what should I do? I should do like for their simple thing. See out. Uh, enter from where you want to. You want to start the table. Okay. Enter the number from where you want to start the table. And here I'm just see in I. And now let's run it. Let's check it out. First, it says uh, enter from where you want to start the table. I want to start the table from five, okay? And then which table I want to that time print a five table from where I want to print it from a ten. So, so the four table will be start from five, uh, four fives are fifteen like that, okay? So see this four fives are fifteen. It will start from fifteen. It will go from ten, okay? Simple. So guys. This is the video about while loop. I want to do a do and while as well, but maybe this video is longer. So if you like my work, so please subscribe to my channel uh, and also press the bell icon. Whenever I upload a new video, you will get a notification. Thank you for watching this video and have a nice day. Goodbye. Allah Hafiz.